Well, hello, and welcome to another extremely exciting episode here on My Gardener. So today I have something for you that I have been waiting so long for, and it's going to be a surprise. None of you know it because I haven't told anybody. So uh, I basically have been waiting all morning for this. I have not done anything but sit by the door. I know I'm a total nerd. I've been actually filling um, seed orders. Uh, yeah, that's all my stuff. So um, I've been editing a video there, opening up letters there, filling them there, piling them there, and yeah. So if you sent a letter, it's most likely somewhere in there. So cool. All right, back to what I was actually filming. So I've been sitting by the door for these three things. Woo! All right, so uh, these two are from the same company. That is for a surprise that you all will have to wait to the end of the video. Now, I will mention, I would hope that you all would not use the power of the internet and skip to the end of the episode because I would like to have all of this being here because there's a specific reason why I'm showing all these together. Um, they really don't all correlate, but I want you to check out the people that sent me these packages. Now, I did purchase them, but I will say that it was worth my purchase. I'm excited to show you what I purchased. And so I'm just dragging this video out because I like torturing you all. All right, so without further ado, let me get a tripod so that I'm not shaking and holding and doing one-handed stuff because that never turns out good. And I will be back to open up these packages for you in one momento, one second. So we are back with a tripod. Now I can use both hands. All right, so I'm not sure which one is which, so I'm just going to open them and we'll find out together. But I do know what these are. But they probably should not have ripped into that. That was not good. All right, well, that's my order form there, which we'll look at later. All right. All right come here. Oh, God. yes. All right. All right. And can you all guess what this is? This is bat guano. Yes, I decided to purchase five gallons of bat guano. Five gallons of solid pelletized bat guano from Gaia Green. And it's really heavy, so I'm trying to show you all without struggling, but I'm struggling. There's Gaia Green. I wanna post a link. Uh, I wanna post a link to their website. Uh, you gotta go check them out. They have amazing products. Um, I love their stuff. Them and Dr. Earth are my favorite uh, for doing that. So I did that. So I got that. And I forgot how much I paid for this. Um, great stuff. Amazing stuff. Um, and I love using this in compost teas. And I also love using this uh, around the base of the plants as just a, um, as just a top dress uh, or side dress fertilizer. So um, I will be making most of this with comp I will be turning most of this into compost tea. Along that, alongside with uh, worm castings and uh, fish emulsion, unsulfured molasses, and the bat guano. So that's my that's gonna be my mixture this year, and we're gonna see how that works out. All right. Um, oh, by the way, the bat guano is a uh, zero thirteen one for the NPK. If any of you are wondering. So now let's see what this is here. All right. It is uh, fifty five pounds, so it is a heavy package, and. Uh, don't come into my shipping label here. Right. Yeah, I need that. All right. Okay, now we'll get up into it. All right, and I know what this is now because I know what, I knew what the other one was. And John Kohler, if you're watching, you'll be proud of this right here. I know for a fact you will be. Oh, yes. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Get out of your paper. Okay. Oh, right. I'm not gonna lift this one up because I'll get a hernia. Um, I'm just gonna zoom you in. So be patient one second. That is 50 pounds of Gaia Green glacial rock dust from, yeah, from Gaia Green. And they were kind enough to ship it to me. They made a lot of uh, exceptions because they are based out of Canada. 
and I love their product. I loved their product. And I've heard so many people talking about the Guy Green Glacial Rock Dust. So I tried it last year, I tried a sample, and it was phenomenal stuff. So I had to get it this year, but the only problem was is that last year I was using a tester. This year I actually bought 50 pounds. So it was, it was a hassle because they don't typically ship it to the United States. They do sell it in the United States, but not through their website. And I wanted to go through their website so I could give them a shameless promotion because I love their product. So there's their shameless promotion. Go check out their product. Um, you know, if you can find it in a, in a flower or a, you know, a floral place, uh, any place that sells plants, like a nursery or um, a flower shop or uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, any place that might have it, there you go. That is what you want to get. It's awesome. It's way better than Azimite. It's half the price and you get just as much awesomeness. So let me zoom you in on the details there. So now we're going to open up the mystery box. This was a purchase long overdue. It will help me. It will help you. It will It will help all of us grow better. It will help us, oh, what else will it help us do? It'll help increase the quality of my garden. Um, not actually, but visually, hint, hint. It is the, drum roll everybody, drum roll. It is a new camera! Woo! Okay, I don't want to break it. Get out of the box. It is the Canon Vixia HF-G20. Yes, I got this from uh, B&H. Um, yeah, I got this from B&H, uh, but I don't really have a good website to send you to other than I guess bnh.com, um, I was not prepared uh, with their website. So I'm gonna put a link to where I got this, uh, but it is an amazing camera. Reviews are phenomenal on it. And I wanted to get something that I could film in Super HD that had low light conditions, because I know a lot of times when I'm filming outside, I don't have supplemental lighting, I don't have a whole lot of fancy reflectors and light boxes and soft boxes and white boxes and whatever else. Uh, lingo and jargon you photographers out there use to make your graphic quality look amazing. I don't have that. So, with the budget that I had from the check that I won, I filmed a video on that uh, around Thanksgiving time. Uh, so, with that money, I went out and I purchased a new camera, and so that is what I bought. Um, and it was the best bang for my buck with having cost in mind. It was also um, it was also really, I, I thought, necessary because not only now can I save the camera that you're watching me on, but I can also do multi-camera angles if I need to. I can have one, uh, one static camera that, that basically just means it stands still for the whole episode, and then I can use the camera that you're watching me on for up-close uh, shots if I need to show you something up-close. Instead of having to move my camera back and forth and back and forth and risk it falling over, um, it's just way better uh, to have to have a, a second camera, I guess. So I thought that was a good plus. And also, I just wanted to increase the quality because the quality is always getting better. And if you don't stay up with current quality trends, you're going to get left behind, and your uh, your viewership is going to drop. And then it affects the way I teach everyone how to grow their own food because. Um, that's my goal here, is to teach everyone how to grow their own food better, more efficiently, and have fun doing it. So, um, you know, if I, if I was sending people away because my quality was not up to par, then that is a disservice to me, it's a disservice to you, it's a disservice to uh, this whole community. So, with all that said, that's why I got this camera, and I'm really excited. I'm going to do a couple tests for you, uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to be doing that in this video, so don't leave this video because I have one more thing in this box. One more thing that I promised you on the uh, What to Look Forward in 2014, and that is sound quality. I also got this from B&H. They have amazing, I mean, it's pretty much the one-stop shop for all of your sound quality needs. 
This is the uh, uh, this is the Asden wireless uh, lavalier mic, and I will be attaching this to my shirt collar neck part, um, or like just below it, and that way I can walk. Uh, I think they said 200 feet. Um, yeah. I can walk 200 feet away, so if I ever need to walk that far away, I can. Not saying I ever will, but that way my uh, voice, um, you know, doesn't have to carry that far. I can just let technology do the work for me. And not only that, but I will have less wind. I know that's been a huge problem in the past. That's something that everybody's been talking about is wind, 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 wind. And now, no more problems. Because I have this wireless mic that will have so much better quality than the mic on my camera. Not only that, but I actually have a better camera which has a better mic, so if I'm ever in the case uh, that I don't have my, my mic with me, maybe I'm on a field trip, maybe I forgot it, this camera has an upgraded mic. So this camera that I got, the Canon Vixia HF G20, is actually the big brother of this camera that you're watching me on. So, um, I know Canon just has had superb quality, so I gotta give them, you know, gotta give them an applause. They uh, they have great camera quality, and I could never complain with their products that they put out. So, uh, with all that said, let's unbox this, and you all can see what it looks like. And then we're gonna plug it in, give it a charge, and I will I will uh, put some footage in this video, so maybe you can tell. Uh, a difference. All right. So what does this come with? This comes with the uh, user manual. It also comes with editing software and some other stuff. Uh, it comes with a lens protector screen. That's cool. Ah, there's a goodie right there. Now uh, let's see what else we got before we open that. All right. We have what looks to be power cords. That's nice to have, I guess, because you need power. Um, oh, there's the other half of the power cord. That's the charger that charges the battery. Um, and then this is a, oh, a direct USB, so if I don't want to have a memory card, I can actually just plug it right into my computer, which is cool, because I do on occasion forget my memory, and uh, my memory card, not my actual memory. Um, the good thing about this camera is it actually has 32 gigabytes of internal memory, so on the chance that you forget your memory card, it, you can actually record right to the, right to the uh, camera itself and then just pull it off with a USB cord and not a problem at all. So that is another plus. We have the, oh nice, I love these, uh, wireless little controller there. I don't know why I took that out yet. Alright, so wireless controller. We have a, ah, the battery pack. I will be needing a newer one of these because I heard that the stock one does not last very long on a charge. So I will be buying a larger battery pack for that uh, because I think it's only like 40 minutes on its highest setting, which I will be filming in. So I'll need a, more than 40 minutes, obviously. Um, battery to go to the remote. Um, oh, direct cables for a television. Not sure what that is, little thingy, that's cool. Ah, this right here. All you photographers probably know what this is. I'll take this one out. This right here is a lens visor that prohibits side light from coming in uh, perpendicular, or not perpendicular, out of the peripheral vision of the camera lens to create a lot of glare and white out. Um, and then this is going to create that really nice, crisp image that you're looking for. And I've been needing one of these, so this came with the camera, which is also another bonus. And last but not least is the moment we've all been waiting for. I think that's everything. Last but not least is the camera. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's got a very large LCD screen so I can see myself from farther away because I know that's one thing that I do struggle with is sometimes seeing myself on the viewfinder, make sure what I'm doing is actually in the screen there. Um, so that's cool. It's also a touch screen, so um, when I get this all powered up, uh, you can press it and select different cool things. And I will take a little bit of a, this will take a little bit of a learning curve. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is the Canon Vixia uh, HF G20. There's a lens on this baby. It's a big old lens. And um, I'll 
put the uh, lens cap on for or the uh, lens visor on so you can see what that's going to look like. Ah, there we go. So, uh, yeah, basically it's got a little flip-up door to keep dust and stuff out, and that is awesome. So that is the camera that we will be filming on from now on. It has 360 pan on the viewfinder, which is awesome. And um, yeah, so, um, oh, it also has a little eye thing just in case someone is filming me, they can see what they are filming. Um, but most of the time, it's just me filming. So, very cool. I am excited. I am very excited. So, let's charge this baby up and let's do some test footage on this. So, how do I look? Good? Little. Oh, yeah. Hopefully the sound quality is coming through. I don't know, I'm just testing this out here. So let's take this outside and check it out in the bright white sun uh, because it's really snowy out. So I predict that if it can handle the white, if the camera can white balance with all the snow, um, this camera has sold me. Because one thing that I always battle with a lot is when the sun's out, it takes all the color away, whether it's a tomato, whether it's a leaf, whether it's you know something I'm showing you, the sunlight is just so harsh that uh, my other camera couldn't, um, it couldn't white balance and it would just basically mask everything all over and take out all the color. And so hopefully, let's see uh, if we can maybe um, conquer that today. So really quick, I wanted to show you the camera that I was using before. I've never actually shown you, I don't think, because um, I've never had the uh, the technology to do that. I was always working with a poor camera. Um, but I upgraded to this camera, and this was the um, this was the Canon FS100. And I would, for a beginner camera, anyone out there, I would seriously recommend getting this camera. It is such a good startup camera. You can get it for like 150 bucks. Like I said, I'm going to keep this camera uh, for um, alternate angles and stuff for doing close-ups because obviously right now you're static and if I was looking at a plant I would want to go like that you know and uh, close up on a plant so that's that um, but yeah and also another perk is the, the battery pack for this the battery pack that comes out super easy actually Canon is so genius with all of their camcorder models that they actually made all of their their batteries compatible so if, if uh, the one you're watching me on runs out, I can actually just be like, oh, well, I don't need to buy a second battery pack. I have a backup right here. So I'll keep this one charged and in this camera so that when I'm not doing alternate angles, the battery can also be used as an emergency battery pack. So that's cool. All right, well, let's go outside and test this baby out. All right, so basically, this is gonna be the brightest that it's ever gonna be. I mean, I'm standing in snow. We did have a little bit of meltage because we had some freezing rain and some 42 degree weather. So not as much snow as we did have, but it's still winter. So it, there is white and the white has always been just terrible because it reflects every ounce of light right back up at you and the thing you're filming. So let's take a walk back and let's see how far this microphone really goes. All right. It says it records up to 200 feet, so I'm probably at about 50 feet right now. And uh, I'm just gonna keep walking back. Oh, wow, my kale is actually still growing, unbelievable. My kale is actually just frozen, but I'm probably gonna have to put something over this to see if maybe I can overwinter it, because I'd like it to come back. It's still green and healthy. All right, coming back. Well, that was a fun test of the microphone and camera quality. I'm gonna go inside and warm up. So, hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. And as always, this is my gardener reminding you to grow big or go home. I'll talk to you all later. See you next episode, bye.